What's going on, everybody? My name is Justin Gazi for the Athlete Inquirer. Thank you so much for checking out your WWE Elimination Chamber match after match review. Now, this is going to be a show, or you know, something that I'm going to start doing. You know, going into the new pay-per-views that the WWE is doing uh, tonight. They brought back the Elimination Chamber out there in Corpus Christi, Texas, and tonight we are welcomed for a first time ever a tag team Elimination Chamber match. But before we get into that, um, I'm going to let you guys know. Like I said, you know, this is something that's going to end up coming new to the channel uh, or new to the wrestling section here of our channel. We're going to be talking uh, mainly about the matchups, about um, you know, just the biggest matchups on the card. I'm not going to do go through every single matchup. Uh, we might do a podcast uh, reviewing the entire show. I think that's going to be the, the, the best thing that we're going to end up doing. Um, but here on the channel, you guys can get you know instant reaction to the matches on the card. So let's get right into the first, ever, the first matchup on the card, which is for the first time ever the WWE has put on a tag team. Elimination Chamber matchup. Now this is a Elimination Chamber matchup which is has a lot of stacked teams. Now going into this matchup we have The Ascension, Connor and Victor. The Lucha Dragons, a couple of NXT tag teams making a big splash on the main roster. I, am, I hope the WWE really turns around The Ascension. Um, not only is The Ascension there, you got Tyson, Kidd and Cesaro, you got the primetime players, and the New Day. Um, tonight's mat the matchup was fantastic. We saw a lot of high flying match uh, ma uh, uh, maneuvers by the Lucha Dragons mainly. Um, they put on a big show. I have to say, I give a lot of kudos to them for doing that. Um, also, and, and you know, a little bit of a disappointment from you know the Los Matadores. I was expecting you know somewhat of like a highlight reel kind of a matchup. Um, we did see a lot of you know high flying maneuvers, but it was mainly by the Lucha Dragons. Now you can see Kalisto in the matchup, you know, climbing to the top of the cell. I think the last time this ever happened was back what around 2010 2000 and 2009 2010 was when John Morrison um, got into the, in the center of the structure climbs up the uh, entire cell and just does you know a, a, a cross body off the mat, off the uh, top of the uh, of the uh, chamber and landed on you know the adversaries down at the bottom and same thing would happen with Kalisto but Kalisto was kind of that you know that lone wolf in this matchup as to you know what the hell was he doing throughout the entire matchup um, Sin Cara put on a huge show but it was mainly him put, doing a lot of the in ring work um, as a big chunk of the matchup it was all Kalisto climbing up on pods climbing on top of the um, the New Day pod getting his legs stuck, um, or he, or for like three seconds after his legs gets you know undone, he's able to go do a couple of maneuvers here and there. Then he goes and climbs up the Prime Time Players uh, pod, and he just sits up there for about two or three minutes, and then he goes back into the matchup. So um, that was the only down part of the match I really did not like. I thought that the, you know the Lucha Dragons could have stepped it up a whole lot, um, putting in a little bit more of a highlight maneuver. But I do praise uh, Kalisto's you know performance. Um, you know, with that um, that crossbody out the top of the uh, chamber, um, you also got to look into um, the other, you know, some other exciting um, concepts in the match. Now, um, the uh, the new day was um, given all th all three members of the new day were able to go into the pod, and that you know ultimately was the numbers game. The numbers game was very powerful, and that ultimately led um, to the new day winning the or retaining their tag team championships. Um, the, the, also, the ascension. The ins I was tweeting about, on, and I was also praising the performance of the ascension. You know. Eliminating Los Matadores and um, in all, uh, was it? The, yeah, they eliminated the Los Matadores and the Lucha Dragons. Uh, uh, Connor and Victor put on a good show. Uh, I, in the um, the Fall of Men with their fa their uh, finishing maneuver. Um, they put it uh, both on the Los Matadores and the Lucha Dragons, and that ultimately did them in. And then Connor and Victor were elim uh, eventually eliminated. Uh, I want to say by uh, the prime time player or by the prime time players, and you know, uh, following was Tyson Kidd and Cesaro. Uh, but the at the end of the matchup, you know, the numbers game really you know picked it up as the New Day was able to defeat. Um, the primetime players to retain their tag team championships inside the uh, inside almost at hell in a cell the elimination chamber um, I want to give you guys you know just a quick you know spark of the matchup but um, if you guys want to go back and watch this it will be on the WWE Network following the event or you can go um, watch it live it's still going air and right, live right now uh, I'm very excited for what we have going forward for this I cannot wait to see who is the, you know the mystery you know man inside the Intercontinental Championship Elimination Chamber matchup hopefully someone huge 
So let me hear your guys' opinion about this. Let me hear your guys' opinion about the Tag Team Elimination Chamber matchup. Do you think the WWE should continue to do this? Uh, I cannot wait until, you know, hopefully they bring back the Chamber pay-per-view for next year. Just an extra pay-per-view on the on the WWE Network. Um, can bring a lot of eyes. But I love this. You know, I rate this um, Elimination Chamber matchup a 4.5 out of 5, out of 5 stars. So a very exciting matchup. Great way to kick off the pay-per-view. My name is Justin Gossi for the Athlete Inquirer. And I'll catch you guys in our next video.